How to make potato gnocchi with chicken and broccoli. Let's get into it. In a medium to small size bowl, we are going to mix together one and a third cup of chicken broth, preferably low sodium. Three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and one tablespoon of flour. Whisk everything together until everything's well combined and nice and smooth. And when everything's well combined and there are no more flour lumps, we're going to put this to the side until we're ready to use it. Next, we're going to roughly chop two decent sized garlic cloves. Then we're going to put it to the side until we're ready to use it. For one pot, we're going to start boiling water for our potato gnocchi. And in another skillet or a wok, whichever you feel more comfortable with, you want to add two tablespoons of butter and heat it until it's fully melted but not burned. And when your butter is fully melted, we're going to add about three to four cups of broccoli. Stir it around and cook for about two to three minutes. Add your garlic and cook until it's nice and fragrant, about 30 seconds. Stir your broth mixture one last time just to loosen everything up and mix everything together again. And pour it into your broccoli and bring this mixture to a boil. When your mixture is boiling, you want to cover it. Reduce your oven to medium low and let it cook for about five minutes until your broccoli and everything else is nice and tender. When your water for your gnocchi is boiling, you're going to cook a 16 ounce package of potato gnocchi. You don't have to buy this brand, just so you know what it looks like. Cooking, cook it according to package directions. Carefully strain your gnocchi, and then add it to your broccoli mixture for about two to three minutes. Stir everything until well combined. Stir everything together. And then like I said, let everything cook and mix together. Let it marinate for about two to three minutes. And lastly, we are going to add two cups of rotisserie chicken, shredded. If you prefer to cook your own chicken breast and do two cups of that, that's perfectly fine as well. Again, stir everything until well combined. And then cook it for another minute or two just until everything's nice and hot. And then when you're ready, take it off the heat. And when you're ready, serve and enjoy.